Gabby Ferreira, and I'm gonna teach you how to be. <laughs> Ooh, that's screaming. That's screaming. It's Barbie Ferreira, and I'm going to learn slash teach you how to behave, I guess. I like to think I have my own look, but not everyone gets it. In my career, people are always wanting me to have a more sophisticated street style, whatever that means. But I like a tank moment in flip-flops. Is that so bad? So I decided to find the most proper lady in the most proper field to see if she could help class up my style. We're here in Connecticut where I'm going to meet Louisa, a professional dressage instructor. What is dressage, you ask? It's a super fussy equestrian sport that puts an emphasis on looks. I mean, look, even the freaking horse dresses up. Oh, look at that horsey! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> he just walked away from me. I mean. LOL, all the animals can tell I'm out of place here. Hi, I'm Barbie. Hi, I'm Louisa. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so <laughs> much for letting me play with these horses. <laughs> Have you ever ridden before? No. OK. First thing we're going to do, we're going to get you dressed. Ready to go? Yes, I am. Let's as go. Ready as Let's ever go be. get ready. So I'm going to show you some of the items that we would use. For dressage, we want to look elegant. Um, because that's the beauty of our sport. The horses are basically ballerinas, so mm -hmm. we want to fit in with them as much as we can. So do you want to try something on? I would love to. Okay, so let's go. We have here some um, white breeches that you would wear your shirt, and then around your shirt, you wear a stock, and then a jacket. <laughs> you look great. I feel very, very, very fancy. I think everyone will agree <laughs> from the previous outfit to this outfit, yes. I think we're looking pretty good. We're looking like <laughs> fancy. Shady. When you look the part, you feel better. When your clothes fit properly, it helps you keep your form tidier. It's a whole picture. You know, nobody wants to see a slob show up. Before, when you were able to wear your top hat, you had really developed as a rider. So it was a little bit of a symbol. This is a <laughs> very small hat. <laughs> Ladies, I'm ready to ride. You would actually look really nice in a top hat. We just, it's just a little small. <laughs> but You're the one. You're gonna put your left stirrup in here. Now you still hold the other side of the saddle, that's it. And then slowly lift yourself up. There you go. All right, how was that? It's great. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna go with it. <laughs> I'm going with it, everyone. <laughs> I definitely admire Louisa's attention to detail, but that level of structured style is a bit too much for me. So we're here in Bushwick, and we're about to meet my good friend, Nikki Otto. Nikki! Yeah! He's a quintessential New York City club kid. He has an absolutely amazing aesthetic and an amazing eye for fashion. It's crazy. I personally don't, so we're going to find out. Come on in. <gasps> so glad you're here. This is oh my, my little God. my little is... piece of paradiso. So what's the plan for tonight? Where are you taking me? Well, we're going to go out to this party that I'm hosting. You'll know a ton of people that are there. Oh, All yeah. people who are gonna, definitely going to be dressed to the nine, so we got to do a good look. I, I want to see what you brought. I don't have anything colorful. It's really bad at shopping, so you need to help <laughs> me with that. So this is my new pants. And I have this top. It definitely shows the titties, which I like. I like showing bobs. All right, seriously, Barbie, I, I can't believe you just came here with some beige shit. So I really think you should dry some stuff on, in my closet. We should put you in this, at least oh, try it on. I love this jacket, you should try that too. That's cute. Here. Thanks. Oh, I have this booby top. Wait, this is so booby cute. Booby top? This. Oh, I love that. You know, maybe we could try that on you as well. 
we should really accessorize. Let's. This is cute. I think it'll fit some of your stuff. And um, I should get you some jewelry here. With it here, just um, here, I'll just put those there. Oh yeah, glass. I can never over accessorize, so I want to try everything on. You're a princess. <laughs> So, um, try some of this stuff on and we'll see what works. Uh -huh. Okay. So, how important do you think that confidence is in pulling off a look? If you love it, I think other people will love it a lot more than, than not. Yeah. So, confidence is probably like the last thing you need to throw on before you go out in a look. You spend all this time and energy into creating your looks and expressing your creativity. Why? It, it's out of respect for this as an art form. And the people who have existed before us who made this a tradition in New York in the first place. It's all about queer expression and being out there in whatever way works for you. Talking to Nikki and Louisa, I learned it's not about what you wear, but how you wear it. Hold your head high, Rock your look with confidence, and people will appreciate you for it. A little effort goes a long way.